This is right here. This is the Music Industry Management Association. I'm Jonas Leskela. My name is Jeremy Friday. My name is Juan Bell. My name is Bianca Swarovski. It's Max Griffith. I'm Renee Irvine. My name is Blake Elder. I am the current president of the Music Industry Management Association. The Music Industry Management Program, MIM, is, um, it is a business management degree. So you're getting, you're getting a Bachelor's of Business Management in the music industry. I hope to be a musician, um, but of course, with this degree, I can do many other things to help support myself while I'm waiting to break into the music scene um, and maybe even some recording, things like that. I've covered all the different aspects of the actual music industry and, and, and the business. I had to learn how to manage my business, have uh, accounting skills, understand finances, and a little bit of music appreciation to see where music actually comes from. With a business degree, I'm basically getting a business degree from being in this program and you know, you can go anywhere with that. Any, everything is based off of business, uh, you know, if you want to make money on it and make a living through it. The workload is that of, you know, any other business management degree, but it's more specialized and I think it's more fun because it's with something that I really get to like, that I like to do. And part of the Music Industry Management um, Association, in, or like the MIM program, we have a, a working studio. Um, the studio comes equipped with Pro Tools. Um, as you can see behind me, there's an isolation booth with some really good condenser microphones. Um, we have, you know, drum sets, both digital and, and you know, traditional. Um, we have the ability to hook in guitars, bass guitars. Um, unless this was provided, they may not ever get the opportunity to be inside of a studio or to run a studio, you know. We have two required internships for our program. Uh, I've done one so far. It was in Nashville, Tennessee. I interned at Country Music Television. I did one internship with 16 Ton Recording Studios on Music Row down in Nashville, Tennessee. I started interning with a band called Coyote Gray, so I started my first internship. And I've been working for them for almost a year now. In the music strategy department, what I did was I helped with research for the Top 20 Countdown sat in on the weekly meetings where we discussed the new videos, entered fonts in the system, just anything they needed help with. And I also had the opportunity to schedule CMT Pure, which is CMT's 24-hour music block. I do a lot of promo for the band. So um, their upcoming tours, I advance shows, I contact radio stations, plug the show, I send out all their venue posters, and I actually went on tour with them for a couple weeks over the summer. Pretty much I worked uh, side by side with a recording engineer, just learning the re actual recording process. I was watching the engineers there um, and watching the musicians uh, record their music and seeing how they seeing how they do that and trying to uh, soak in as much experience as I could. Well, music industry management is the program that you get into. And so there's many, there are many students at MIM, but MIMA, Music Industry Management Association, is where all of the action is. Classroom atmospheres are, are kind of strictly business. You go there and you work as a group, you work as a class, and that's, that's awesome, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you go to MIMA, and it's like this giant community that we formed around music. I like the Music Industry Management uh, Association meetings because they're like they're energetic, lively. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You only have two minutes to leave your mark on this earth. Meet as many people as you can, as fast as you can. Do it now. What's your name? We we play music in the beginning and we dance and just have a good time. It's like a big family. And you know everyone. You know what they do. You, if you are putting on an event, you you know a sound person. You know a promotion person. So it's really just a large community where we can all work together and accomplish whatever our goals may be. Um, being president of MIMA, you know, I, I do a lot of research and figuring out ways to create events for things that people in the you know the, the GA the General Association members are interested in. Our Autumn Alive concert is the most awesome thing we do. We do it every year in the fall. 
a complete large-scale concert. We do everything from the booking to the promotion to the day of show. Students are 100% everything. They set up stage, they're helping promote the show, they do everything. They book the show, um, so students are involved 100%. From the contracts to the show, all the way down to the last day, and then even going back to student government and telling them what we did and showing them that this is where we use our money and things like that. It's all student, student based. My ultimate career goal is to have my own record label. And I hope to be a musician, um, but of course with this degree I can do many other things. Eventually I want to own my own recording studio and a recording label. Possibly get into management, so band management. Eventually own a record label. I want to do live production slash special event meeting planning. Unleash the creativity of this crazy artist that we have.